Hey guys and welcome to episode 4 of the Setting Up Your Home Recording Studio series. And in this episode I'm going to cover the software side of things. Now the software is going to allow you to record, edit, mix, master and play back your music that you are recording, which is pretty much what you want to be doing at this point. Now software, there's loads of different copies and versions of software. There's some really good free ones and there's some really crap expensive ones. So the software I've chosen for this series is Reaper. Now Reaper is quite a new project. I mean it's been going for years and years and years but only recently has it found popularity amongst studio engineers. Reaper comes in at around $60 with a discounted price which is around £35-39. However, if you do plan on using Reaper, I suggest you download the 60-day evaluation trial before buying it. And please read the terms of the discounted price before you go ahead and get that one as well. Now, there are more different types of software out there than there are Reaper. So I suggest that you go out, see if you've got a friend that has these versions of the software, try it and find the one that you like. Because you may find yourself with Reaper not getting on with it, and then you might go to a friend's house and try something like Pro Tools or Cubase and really enjoy using it. This is the part of the series that I can't tell you what to get because everyone has different preferences. Cubase, to me, is more geared towards the MIDI uh, enthusiasts out there. Bigger, because it's really MIDI orientated, it's a MIDI editor with audio recording functionality. Whereas Pro Tools, is more geared towards live instruments and doing everything recorded in through microphones and stuff like that. But it has got MIDI functionality, but it's not as extensive as Cubase. And then there are different versions like Logic, which is Mac only, and stuff like GarageBand, which is Mac only again, uh, Sonar, and stuff like that. And then you come to the free versions like Audacity, which has a massive community supporting it but it is quite limited to what it can do but it is being updated nearly every month so far so i know this was a really quick short episode but i hope that you can get out there and try these different software packages and see which one fits you now however if you want to stick within your 550 pound budget i do not suggest getting pro tools or cubase especially Pro Tools since it's £550 for the latest license without any hardware. So thanks for watching this episode and catch me tomorrow for the next episode of Setting Up Your Recording Studio series. So thanks for watching and I shall see you tomorrow guys.